Hi there, today my husband and I are reviewing an insulation tester. We're just going to show you how it works. Okay, hi guys and ladies and gentlemen and everybody else. Uh, it's a nice little unit. Okay, um, i just show you right here. This, let's just pull these out. This is the cover for it. It snaps right on. So when you unsnap it, and it locks in the bottom, so you've got protective on the back. It's uh, straightforward. Um, what a lot of people don't realize with these is uh, I could use my ohm meter to uh, test the motor to see if there's uh, any issues with it. What this does is it actually, we'll just uh, power it up. It's got an awesome LED and you can save it and it'll light it up for you. Let's put uh, the connectors in. Uh, this yellow one here, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, it's kind of yellow. This will actually give you, it's a voltmeter. So if you need to know if you've got 110 volts, 220, uh, up to 750 volts, that's what this will do. These other three are, uh, you got your negative, and the other two are for testing your motor. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this one in there, this one in there. Um, one thing to know, realize, remember is this actually has capacitors in it, and it ups the output voltage where an ohm meter, you can grab them, hold on to them. You don't want to do that with these. Secondly, um, 10,000, I know of no motor that can do 10,000 volts. Um, let's see here. Right now I've got 110 volt motor and because I have no issues with it, it is not going to show anything. If I had, um, my coils were starting to break down, I had insulation leakage, it would show me some numbers. So let's just power down, power back up, and we're going to pick 250. There we go. And a solid, good motor with good windings, that's what you want to see. So let's just put that one, that one. Awesome motor. Okay. This motor here is a three-phase 550-volt motor. Uh, so now we're just going to change the setting to, uh, what's that one say? 500. 500. And that, see it, reset. Uh, just do these. And again, the motor is in great shape. The insulation around the windings is awesome. This motor over here, let's just move this one out of the way. This one here is out of a hot tub. It's a 220 volts, so we're going to back it back down to 250 because that's all we need. The terminals are up here. And again, if you look at the meter, everything is awesome shape. Where this meter really helps is if you have uh, coolers, um, compressors, that kind of thing. Uh, they're running constantly, uh, the coil or the, the windings break down. Um, this could tell you, if, if you check them every three months, it, it'll tell you if, you if your compressor is breaking down or not. Time to get it fixed before it breaks down. Anyways, thanks. Thanks for watching. Okay, also, which is really nice, is it comes with... Uh, two alligator clips so you just plug them in here and plug this one in here and that frees up your hands because now without getting zapped if I can whoop, just a sec I didn't quite have it stuck in the right way and yeah we got the same thing we can just One there, and then that frees up your other hand to, you know, just move it around, check the body, check the frame. Also comes with carrying straps. The only drawback I have with this, or, or 
yeah, is the fact that there's no place for your cables. When you close it, close it up, you're stuck with your cables carrying them in your hand. That's the only issue I have. It should have a little carry bag or something. Aside from that, awesome unit. Thank you. Thanks for watching.